we just left the um which which one is this the salvation army thrift store and got some really good deals on some resale items papa's trunk huh but um we're gonna go to one more thrift store and find more shit to flip because that's what ebay's all about if you want that new crap go to amazon we're at another salvation army thrift store across town see what see if they've got anything good they got a truck in we're gonna see what they got on the inside for resale make some money we just started relisting yesterday and we've already sold like six or seven things so oddly enough things are selling really good and i don't know why we didn't really get anything major theirs is too expensive after shopping at thrift stores in virginia and north carolina florida is just outrageous i got this tie it's white tag day so it's half off so i got this tie with the drum set and I'm gonna list that on eBay. Theme ties always sold really good for me. I never had any trouble selling those. So barring any snags or anything I didn't notice in the store, it's going on eBay. I'm figuring probably eight bucks for that. Hey everybody, this is take two. The first one, the audio was terrible because my air conditioner was on. So here we go. One of the first things that we picked up was I found this mug. This is a clay mug and I have a thing for pottery mugs. I love pottery mugs. Nothing keeps your coffee hot like a pottery mug or your tea or whatever your gig is. This is handmade in Sheffield, G.A. Hart. It's hard to find these on eBay but I found them on eBay UK because it's, it's from England. It's in really good shape. It's got the whole drip glaze going on. It's very, very well made. Good quality. I'm thinking this I will probably flip for maybe $15. And if it doesn't flip, I don't care because I love it. And I will gladly use this mug. But that's my plan, $15 on this mug. I gave $0.99 cent for it. This was one of Doug's finds. He found this box. It is very discolored. It's got to be cleaned up. We've got, we're going to get some cleaning stuff for it tomorrow or the day after. Um, but uh, it is, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but tall, tall, tall. Anyway, it's not old at all. Um, you could probably actually still buy these new, I think. But I'm not sure. I, I really couldn't find them. But this is beautifully made um made in china though it does have a made in china sticker on it but it's lined in green velvet and it's a music box it plays memories by frank lloyd weber or whatever is andrew lloyd weber i was thinking about frank lloyd i was thinking about the architect andrew lloyd weber um from the movie cats i mean not the movie the play the play cats memories Yeah, don't cut my head off if I got that wrong about that being Andrew Lloyd Webber, not Frank Lloyd Wright, obviously. That's an architect. And it being from Cats, but I think it's from Cats. But anyway, it plays that. These were a find of mine. Doug was not sure about these. He was very on the fence with these. These are Poland enamelware. Enamelware is highly collectible. Some enamelware was made to be collected, so people like the older stuff that's chipped and worn and very shabby chic. Um, people will pay good money to uh, replace missing pieces in their sets. These are like the camping type thing going on. Uh, they usually came with like a coffee pot and you could get a match in uh, like a, not just a kettle, but like a pot to put shit in or whatever. But it's marked made in Poland. It is enamelware. It's got some chipping around the edges. What? And, um, sorry about that. <laughs> but other, 
chip it around the edges as to be expected with very old enamelware. This is roughly the late 60s, early 70s, something like that. Uh, the orange gives it away, but they also came in yellow. Lots of vibrant colors. Um, just the general wear of it. And all in all, they look really good with the vintage wear. With the vintage wear, they look really good. So I'm going to, I noticed that some of these replacement mugs are selling for $25, depending on the color and depending on who's looking for them, you know. So I'm going to flip these. I'm going to try to get 20 for the two of them, maybe 25 it all depends. But I paid 99 cents a piece for these. This was one of Doug's finds. We used to have one of these. This is a Pampered Chef apple peeler. Of course, you can use them for apple, pears, what the fuck ever, um, potatoes. But uh, we used to have two of these, and the one with the one of them that we had had the wooden block with it. It didn't really do any good. It really doesn't do any good. Um, we prefer just to mount it to the countertop. That's what we would do with this. We used it till it broke. This one, amazingly, is still very sharp. This little blade right here is still really sharp. I was thinking we might have to replace the blade or take the blade off. This little blade comes off and sharpen it, put it back on. But it's really sharp. So, if this Pampered Chef apple pillar and corer does not sell, it is no skin off our back because we've been wanting to replace it. So if it doesn't sell, no big deal. We're going to try to get 20 for it. We're, I doubt we will. I may go as low as 15 um, because it is used. And if it doesn't sell, no big deal. It was $4 and we've been wanting one. So that was a real good find. That last thrift store that we went to, because we only went to two, um, I made the decision to go thrift hauling too late in the day. I was like, we should go thrift hauling. You know, it was late in the day. We should have left a lot earlier, um, but we went to the one, the last thrift store, and I got the tie, and um, I don't know. We didn't see anything we wanted. We saw nothing that we wanted. Everything, after after doing thrifting in Virginia, in the Hampton Roads, Virginia, and in North Carolina, these places are outrageously priced. I mean, they're selling things that literally are distributed exclusively through Dollar Tree for a dollar and they're selling them for two and three dollars who does that these people have no idea what they're doing and the dumbasses are the ones who are actually going in there and paying these prices for this stuff but we look for the real deals and i didn't want to go in there and just walk out empty-handed i was like no we went all the way across town we're definitely going to buy something so uh i found this tie and it was white tag day which meant it was half off I paid $1.99. No, they wanted $1.99. I paid a dollar. But it's a themed tie and it's signed, so it's it's got a brand. But that's pretty cool. And I never had any trouble selling themed ties, whether it was Mickey Mouse or Christmas themed or reindeers or teaching supplies themed science, math, it didn't matter. They always sold. So, I'm going to, I found a bunch of these online and only, I think, two of them sold. So, I'm going to try to get five bucks for it. I paid 99 cents. So. The unique find of the day was this Cougar Golf Retriever, the golf ball retriever. And we paid $4. It's in great condition. And it even had 16 golf balls in it. Some dirty, some clean. And this is the way it works. It's got like little nubs down there. And it's got it's got a handle right there that you hold it by. And when you walk around to pick up the golf balls, it just kind of you just picked it up. You're done. And then you just hold it over your head like that to get it down. Oh, that didn't work. Oh well. Anyway, you pick them up like that saw that there were two on eBay both of them sold one of them sold for I think it was 20 so we're gonna list that for 20 um, cheap shipping then again I may just charge a little bit more and just get free shipping I don't know like I say we gave four bucks for that so that was our unique find of the day
we were very on the fence about it, but we know sport type items, sport category items really do well. So if you can find what you believe to be a really good price for a specialty item, and that's basically a specialty item, it's special because it's strictly for golf and it strictly does one thing in golf. It does one thing. So for four bucks, I figured it was worth the risk. I've lost four dollars before. So anyway, doesn't matter to me if this sells because I paid 99 cents for it. Doesn't matter to me if this sells because I think it's pretty anyway. It matters to me if these sell. I don't want these. Don't want these in my life. Don't want them in my house. I want them on eBay. I want them gone. It doesn't matter to me if this sells because we've been wanting to replace ours. It doesn't matter to me if this sells because I love pottery mugs. Love them, love them, love them. The bigger the better, by the way, because, oh, and I don't have any more. I left them all when I moved away. So they all got left in the old house. So if I have to keep this, I'm good with that. It totally matters to me if this sells because I don't want this either. I don't golf, don't want to golf, don't care for it, don't need that item. I bought this. I need to clean it up. It's really been shelf dusty. You know, you can tell. I bought this little, little bud base. It's just a cute little bud base um, for my painting craft that I enjoy so much. And I want to do more videos because I think it's fun. And I like the contrast between start and finish. It's just really cute. And I don't know if I'm going to paint the inside of this where it's nice and smooth or I'm going to paint the outside where it's very um, cut and ornate. And it's not a fancy schmancy one. You can feel the seam right there. This is molded glass. It's nothing, nothing amazing or expensive. Lead crystal or nothing like that. So I bought this for 99 cent so that I can paint it. And I might use metallic paint because I've been wanting to use metallic paint. So yeah, there's my thrift haul. And I hope to do more thrift hauls because I really enjoy thrifting. And now that we have uh, gotten back on eBay and Doug's back to work. So my eBay is strictly for me to just sell my thrift and stuff like I used to do. And I made really good money doing it. Um, you make more money flip and use the items that you pick up at yard sales and thrift stores than you ever would with the pallet sales. That is for sure. So um, we totally cleared our money with our pallet sales and everything from here on out is profit. Has been for a while actually. We've been, whatever we sell is just money in our pocket. We've paid off uh, what we invested. Um, I don't want to do any more pallet sales unless I can get big, big pallets like major pallets. I prefer the thrifting. The markup is way more. The profit is huge. It's huge. And when you have unique items like um, vintage, hard to find, super old, and in good shape for its age, then uh, you're going to have a better chance of being the unique seller on eBay. When you're on eBay and you're selling blenders and mixers and steamers and everyone else is selling the same shit your competition is too big you you can't make anything um so as soon as we get all this shit sold in the building i can start filling it up with my thrift finds and moving shit out the door more because i love thrifting and selling that's what i did before on ebay and i was making upwards of a thousand a month and that was on a mid-month an okay month um there were months when I only made three or four hundred in a month, but that was good money for sad money, you know? So I'm excited to be able to do that again, and I'm still going to do it under the company name. Not the company's account, but under a licensed company name as an income. So, because uh, that's what it is. It's an income, and some months it's good, and some months it's not good. But either way, I enjoy it, and that's what's important to us right now, is I really enjoy what I'm doing, and I can be home and with my daughter and help with the boys and so that's what we're going to do thanks for stopping by and listening to my shit and looking at my thrift haul uh hit the red button below and hang out with me some more and everyone have an amazing weekend bye